Every summer, as part of the annual monsoon, a lot of critters are back out, and, and these are all just lovely. Sonoran toads, scorpions, and roof rats. But those aren't what we're talking about today. Instead, we're focusing on something you might see when you're out hiking, rattlesnakes. And that's in honor of World Snake Day. Team 12's Jamie Cagle is keeping you safe. We all love hitting the trail, even during monsoon. But this time of year, you're going to want to be extra careful because you could run into some dangerous hikers as you're heading out the path, some herpetological hikers. If you're looking at rattlesnakes and Gila monsters as being the main venomous animals people might encounter. So what do we need to remember when we encounter snakes on the trail? Stay alert so you see that snake on the trail and you don't step on it, you hear that snake, you're not blocking your hearing with earbuds or anything like that while you're hiking. How close is too close? The rule of thumb for distance is you want to stay at least three feet away from any snake you encounter. Uh, rattlesnakes can strike about a third of their body length, so the biggest rattlesnakes in the state aren't going to be able to strike any more than about two and a half feet. And we add that extra half a foot on for good measure. And how lethal is a rattlesnake bite? Well, that's the good news. Rattlesnake bites are not deadly at all. Every year in the U.S., there's anywhere from seven to 8,000 venomous snake bites. And out of all of those, there's usually only about five to 10 deaths each year. So the odds of dying are incredibly low. What should you do if the unfortunate happens and you are struck by a snake? Get to a hospital as soon as you can. There's no first aid you can do. You can't really suck out the venom. You don't want to apply a tourniquet because you're going to concentrate the venom in whatever extremity you were bitten and it's going to be a lot worse. Luckily here in Arizona, every hospital is going to have rattlesnake anti-venom on hand. Now to the Gila monster. They just kind of appear whenever the monsoons come or whenever conditions are nice enough to drive them out or they need to eat or find a girlfriend. And they are venomous too. They've got all those bumps on their skin, so if something tries to bite into them, it's not going to get too far past that. It works like chainmail armor, and then they're able to spin around and deliver that venomous bite. So remember, when you're out on the trail and you come across Arizona's wildlife, stay calm, show them some respect, give them space, and we'll all get home safe. From a trail near you, Jamie Cagle, 12 News.